Hey guys, what's going on? Robert Montez here with Link Financial Advisory, where we are focused on helping you win with money. In our last video, we talked about some things you can do as far as steps you can take before you meet with a financial advisor for the first time. In this video, I wanna dive into some short, middle, and long-term goals that you can be focused on to help you optimize your financial future. So let's start with some of these short-term goals. The way to think of short-term goals is kind of like that initial rung on your financial ladder. There are things that you want to get set up so that the rest of your plan is kind of smooth sailing. So what are these things? Um, number one, let's focus on things that can devastate you financially, meaning that uh, if this happened, you are hosed. If you're married with kids, the, probably the first thing you really need to look at is life insurance. Uh, no one likes to think about their own mortality, but if you don't have life insurance and you are married, you have kids, you have people depending on you financially to make ends meet, this would be the very first thing I would say to do because it is the fastest way for your financial house to crumble because if you think about it, if you have two incomes, you're used to living off that and then one spouse dies and that income goes away, the bills don't stop. So you've gotta have the appropriate amount of life insurance. The next thing I would say that's really important is making sure that you are uh, setting money aside for an emergency fund. I know this can be hard and this might tie in with budgeting, so if you don't have a budget, you know, we have great resources and there's great free work resources out there that can help do this, but having a budget so that you can start setting money aside on a consistent basis, very, very important. The amount of money that you're gonna to wanna to have set up, uh, of course, in a perfect world, six months, yeah, I mean, that could, that could seem like a ton of money to try and get set aside. Start with a couple thousand dollars, maybe three, four thousand dollars, that's a good starting point. From there, once you have that, you've got a little bit of buffer zone, and now you can start chipping away at some of those higher interest uh, debt payments that you may have, such as credit cards or things like that. Uh, another big thing too is if you have student loans and you have a lot of student loans, there are great resources out there that can help you understand the student loan code so that you can get from out uh, get out from under those super high payments. So that might be a short-term goal you look at as well. Now, once you've got that emergency fund, yes, start chipping away at that debt. You can either do something like a debt snowball, you can just build up your short-term emergency fund and then you know just throw money at your debt once you have enough set aside where you feel like, hey, I can make a lump sum payment but still be good. There's a lot of options and this is where having a plan is really gonna be important. Let's talk about midterm goals. These can be things like planning for a vacation, planning to buy a car, uh, you know, planning to send your kids to college, stuff like that. So some of those bigger goals, um, once you've got that emergency fund built up, you've really chipped away at your debt, you'd be surprised at how much more you can do once you're debt free minus your mortgage. So maybe now we're setting up what's known as a TOD account or a joint tenants account where you're setting cash aside for something like an, a vacation that's coming up, or you can also look at using something like a UTMA or a 529 to save for your kids future. Um, there's a lot of great options in this realm that people miss and a lot of great investments that you could be doing there. Uh, but yeah, again, coming back to having a plan, that's obviously going to be important. Those last goals, such as retirement planning, Obviously, you're not waiting to start these, all right? You've gotta be saving for retirement. So where do you start? Well, number one, if you have some type of employer-sponsored plan, like a 401k or a simple IRA, something that gives you matched money for participating, that is the first place you wanna start. For example, a typical match formula you'll see is that if you put in 6% of your income in a 401k, a typical safe harbor match is to give you a 3.5% match on that. If you think about that, for you putting in 6% of your money, if you're getting 3.5% match from your employer, that's the equivalent of about a 58% rate of return of your money. So that is huge. So don't skip out on that. That's rule number one. Take all the free money your employer is offering. Um, from there, you can look at, you know, once you've dialed in your 401k, maybe you wanna start looking at some IRAs, whether it's traditional or Roth, it's gonna depend on your tax situation. So having an advisor who can go through all that, very important. You can look at some of those longer term goals, like what does retirement actually look like where you're visualizing your ideal retirement lifestyle uh, and then kind of working backward. For example, the very first question we ask people when we're doing a financial diagnostic is that if you could retire tomorrow with no debt, no mortgage, no kids in the house, how much money would you need per month to retire the way you want to? And the second question is that at what age do you like to be able to do that? So start with the end in mind. Um, you'll see that we're posting things pretty consistently that have links you can use to kind of get a rough picture of what your financial plan could look like. Use one of those to get an idea um, and that will help start painting that picture. Lastly, with legacy planning, this is definitely something that you wanna do earlier, uh, but you wanna revisit on an ongoing basis, which is having the appropriate estate planning documents. I've seen both sides, guys. I've seen people where they have the proper estate planning documents done, and when they don't, and the difference can be huge and potentially catastrophic, excuse me, catastrophic if it's done wrong. So take the time, um, meet with a, the, a qualified attorney who can help you get your estate planning documents in place that are appropriate for your situation. Again, if you need referrals on any of this, we somehow 
somehow have all this dialed up after about 15 years of doing this. So um, in conclusion, obviously having goals is important. I would say tackling it from both short, mid, and long-term um, goals is an important way to do that. And working with an advisor to help you build a plan out to get that going is uh, definitely going to be beneficial. Hey guys, appreciate you watching. Hope you're having a great day and uh, we'll catch up with you soon. Take care.